Hello everyone, I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. Today we are going to discuss the topic in pharmaceutical biotechnology. The name of the topic is enzyme technology. So I'll be sharing a PowerPoint presentation with you. So let us start sharing. So the enzyme technology. We will start first with the enzyme technology. Uh, we will start the introduction. What are the enzymes? So enzymes are the biocatalyst synthesis by the living cells. Now what is mean by catalyst? Catalyst is nothing but which increase the rate of reaction and biocatalyst means one. The enzymes are the perfect examples of the biocatalyst. They are non-toxic and biodegradable. So, what is meant by this? So, you can consider this as an advantage of an enzyme. It cannot be produced in the large amount by microorganism for industrial application. Now, you can consider this as an disadvantage of the enzyme. The next point is enzyme technology broadly involves production, isolation, purification and the use of enzyme for the use of mankind. Now what is meant by the use of enzyme to the mankind? Unlike we have done the production of DNA, the production of RNA or recombinant DNA technology, we have to produce, we have to isolate or purify these enzymes and use for the uh, purpose of the mankind. That means it is used in the food industry, it is used in the detergent industry, it is used in the textile industries and the leather industries as well. So you can see here uh, how much percentage of the enzyme is used in this various industries. Now we will see various examples of the enzymes, their sources and their uses or their applications in the in these industries. For an example, amylase Esterase, these are the uh, these enzymes we get from the sources lamb uh, and carb, and the application of this enzyme is as an digestive aid. The next example of the enzyme is pepsin and trypsin. We will get it from the bovine, and the application of this enzyme is in the preparation of cheese. So, likewise, these are n number of examples of the enzymes with their sources and used in the application, like antioxidant in foods, like fish fish, meat, tenderizer, etc, etc. Now, we will see the production in the enzyme technology. How exactly the enzymes are produced. Now, this is the general consideration of the enzymes. How enzymes are prepared gen generally. So, the first one is we have to take the preserved inoculum. This preserved inoculum we need to develop again. Then it is developed into the inoculation tank and after development it is transferred into a Fermenter. Now in this fermenter, then the cell disruption is occur. After cell disruption, it is filtered, filtered to remove all of the nucleic acid as well as to separate the cell debris. After this step, we need to do a salt treatment. After salt treatment, cool storage is there. After cool storage, again final filtration is done. Then you can use the chromatographic technique for the final purification step. And then it is freeze dried, and after freeze dried, we will get the powder of the enzyme. The main steps which involves in the enzyme technology is the selection of the organisms, or you can say these are the parameters which uh, which affects the production of the enzyme technology. This is the selection of the proper organism, formulation of the media, production of process recovery and purification of the enzyme. So, this is the general consideration and these are the factors which affect the production in the enzyme technology. Now, we will see how or with uh, various methods for the immobilization of the enzymes.
so these are the methods for the immobilization what is in my immobilization the technique of confining anchoring the enzymes in or on an inert support for their stability and the functional reuse so after production of the enzyme we need to immobilize the enzymes by to for to increase their stability or to increase their functional reuse now what are the advantages and disadvantages of the methods of immobilization the first we can get stable and more effective in function can be reused produced are uh, enzymes free then ideal for multi enzyme reaction system etc so these are the some advantages of the immobilization and the disadvantage is what sometimes loss of biological activity of enzyme while it is is used and the expensive often requiring the sophisticated equipment so it can be expensive now these are the five methods for the immobilization the first method is absorption second method is entrapment third method is micro encapsulation fourth method is covalent binding and fifth method is cross linking now you have must aware or familiar with these words because you have if you have studied this word lots of time in the pharmaceutics or industrial pharmaceutics or you have must studied in the chemistry part so we we are going to study these methods one by one in next lecture i hope you have understood the basic principle uh, the basic uh, introduction of enzyme uh, the basic introduction of the immobilization how the enzymes are immobilized how they are used used and what are the different methods of the enzyme immobilization in next lecture we will see one by one how these methods are how these methods are for the immobilization thank you